Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. Our website is www.thenutritionalhealingcenter.com. And this video is a quick video on the concept of meta-researchers. These are people who research the research. When I say the research, what that means is you go to PubMed, just Google that, I think it's pubmed.gov, and when a university does a research study, they upload it to this storage bank online, and there's uh, 21 million research articles here, and every day 6,000 new articles are uploaded. So the research is what's in here. And um, there are two meta-researchers I want to talk about. The first one is Gary Tobbs. He wrote, he's a, actually a rocket scientist, and he has a minor in journalism. And in the late 80s, he um, analyzed high-end physics research and he was published in Discover Magazine. And in 1992, one of his friends said, hey, you should check out medical research because it's so bad. So he started reading medical research, and he says now that he's read more medical research than anybody alive today. And he says 90% of it is bad. And there are many reasons why a piece of research could be bad. But when you look at the 10% that's good, they all have this common theme. And when it comes to diet... The theme is at eat adequate amounts of fat and protein, saturated fat is healthy for you, and then reduce or control your carbohydrates so it's not excessively high. So that's the simplicity of what the research says. Now this other guy is John Yonides. He's from Greece. His last name is spelled that way, but it's Yonides. And both of his, doc both of his parents are medical doctors. And in Greece, when he was in high school, he was so good with math, he was almost like a celebrity. He's just a very smart guy. He says the same thing that Gary Taub says, that 90% of medical research is bad. And he published a paper, I think it was back in 06, um, it's, and it explains all the reasons why a scientific medical study could be bad. So, for example, maybe the placebo is manipulated, or maybe the placebo isn't even described. And I mean, those are just two examples, but there's many, many examples. You can find the um, article online. Just look at his name, and it'll pop up pretty quickly. So other um, meta-researchers include Atkins, Dr. Atkins. He was a cardiologist. He helped 80,000 people reverse heart disease by eating good fats and reducing carbohydrates. He was attacked viciously by um, this, you know, the standard thinking people. And, but he was right. He was right the whole time. And when he put out his books, like in the 70s and 80s, his um, recommendations included diet pop or low sugar foods. But right now, that's not such a good idea because these foods are so high in chemicals that it just makes us more poisoned. But back in the 70s, it was okay to have diet pop or other like more processed foods. But now we, don't want, we want to make our, our food as clean as possible. So I still want to give some props to Dr. Atkins. And, um, but when you look at the meta-researchers now, they all say the same thing. Get away from processed foods. Keep your carbs down. Eat good food. Supplements are good for you. We, we're toxic. Another person actually is Suzanne Summers, believe it or not. Not being a medical professional, but some of her books really show that she knows the research. And uh, she has her own line of supplements. And she's helping women balance their hormones. And... Um, these people get attacked. They get attacked by uh, the conventional doctors because um, the pharmaceutical companies control regular medicine and the pharmaceutical companies want you to be drugged. And if you are healthy, you're worthless to them. If you're dead, you're worthless to them. But if you have a chronic sickness, that's valuable for them. And they want you to be chronically sick over a long period of time. So you need these drugs every day for years and years and years until you die. So, um, follow the meta-researchers. There's many, many. Um, um, another one is Dr. Eads, Michael Eads. He wrote this book called Protein Power, him and his wife. This is good stuff right here, and he knows the research. So, you can just search around and find your favorite meta-researchers and follow them and learn, these, um, learn this information for your own better health.